I am your host, Gabriel Iglesias, the artist formerly known as Pikachu. And we are coming to you from a comedy club called Stand Up Live in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. Hell yeah. Home of the capital of racial profiling. Anyway, <laughs> you doing okay, bro? I know, I'm close, huh? If I fall, that's it. With all this color. <laughs> And on the whole front row, it's like Avatar. <laughs> Feeling good. This is cool, you guys. We've been in town all week hanging out, having fun. And uh, for me, this is cool because I've been coming here for so long. And it's nice to walk into places and have people freak out. I'm not going to lie. It does something for me. And you know, I'm walking into McDonald's and they're losing it. What are you doing here? <laughs> Hello, I have one too. <laughs> But now I find myself abusing the power, you know, I get to the register and they're freaking out, you know. Are you Gabriel Iglesias? I'm like, I don't know. Is the food free? Like, yes, it is. <laughs> and like for me, the best hookup so far, best hookup has been at Disney. Oh man, I showed up, people were giving me free stuff left and right, you know, I'm there with my family and they were loving it, free sodas, hats and stuff and people kept walking up, can we take a picture, can we take a picture, you know, and I'm not one of those, you know, I'm not, I'm not one of those, you know, no, get away, get away, no, -uh. I didn't get attention as a kid, so now it's on. <laughs> so all day, picture, 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 and a serious highlight for me was watching two kids walk past Disney characters to get to me. <laughs> oh, and they were hating, they were hating. I can hear him too. <laughs> Whatever, dude. All day, picture, 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 and all it took was one kid, one, to crush me. Yeah, just humbled you really quick. You know, he walked up to me, he's all, you know, like, oh my God, I just saw you on TV. Oh, can I take a picture? Let's do it, bro. Oh my God, this is so cool. It's so cool. I can't wait to tell my dad I took a picture with the guy that repossessed his cars. <laughs> Repo, the star, Mr. Lou Pizarro. Oh, yeah. No, hombre. Dude, you look like you've been repossessing quesadillas, bro. Seriously. All right, we got to settle it. We got to, we were here together in one spot. All over the internet, the two lookalikes. All right, we got to settle it. Who's fatter? <laughs> Don't make me fall on you, bro. <laughs> Damn! Hell <laughs> oh, yeah, you and I, we could play football, huh? We wouldn't even move, we'd just go ahead, come on. <laughs> oh, I'm already sweaty, look, just hugging you. Está haciendo calor, it's so hot. Yeah. But we are here, you guys. I am so excited to be doing this show. I've, I've been given this opportunity, and I want to share it with as many of my personal friends that are comics. And it's going to be a good time, you guys. And, and it was a really big fight with the network to come up with a title for the show. Because when they find out, you know, it was me, and that I was going to have a few of my amigos on the show, <laughs> automatically they try to put a catchy name for it. <laughs> Anytime comedy clubs, networks, theaters get together, and there's more than one minority on a show, they always want to put a catchy name. And you know, for as long as I've been performing in Arizona, anytime I do a show and there's more than three Latinos, forget it. Latino night, Hispanic night, you know, Mojado Monday or Taco Tuesday or Wet Back Wednesday or Tortilla Thursday or Fiesta Friday or Sabado Gigante. But they do that to everybody. That happens to African Americans as well. They'll call the show Urban Night. 
Apollo night, Def Jam comedy night, but that's as far as they'll take it. And they won't take it to the next level like they will for us, because, you know, there's people fighting for black rights. We don't have anyone. We got Repo. <laughs> and he's got his own agenda, you know? <laughs> I guarantee you, my African-American brothers and sisters, you will never see a Malt Liquor Monday. <laughs> Or Tupac Tuesday, or Watermelon Wednesday, or Thong Thong Thong, thong Thursday, or Fried Chicken Friday, or Sookie Sookie Saturday, or Slap a Ho Sunday. Mm -mm. And that most definitely would never happen to rednecks. He got quiet. <laughs> I'm gonna do the joke. Because it'll never happen. You'll never hear of a Monster Truck Monday or a Trailer Park Tuesday or White Trash Wednesday or Take Your Sister Out Thursday. Look at, look at, look at. Oh, hell no, Fluffy. You done crossed the line now. I'm from Apache Junction. We don't play that.